What's on movie fans? Miyaza 3K here with a very special unboxing. Uh, today we're not going to talk about movies but as you can probably already tell from my other videos I am a Trekkie, Trekker or whatever. <laughs> and I uh, finally got a nice replica in here. It comes from Entertainment Earth. And uh, I ordered it six months ago. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, took a while to get here. I was this close to canceling my order, waiting for it, but uh, it finally arrived. So, let's, uh, let's take a look. in peace Green Ranger dolls toys NECA hmm. Superman Black Adam hmm kinds of little things. Stranger things. Uh oh. Somebody got busy with that one. Anyway. <laughs> Let's move on. Your papers please. Okay. It's another box. I'm sure this is the actual box. It says factory entertainment is what that says. The liver! The spleen! Just kidding. It's Star Trek. Plastic bag. Hmm. Open bag. We have a box, and it has next generation artwork on it. Hmm. Very nice artwork, actually. That is on three sides of it. Four sides, sorry. The bottom. Barcode. Oh, StarTrek.com. This is not a toy. It actually works. You can vaporize people with. <laughs> Battery information. We have little pamphlets. 
Yeah. Limited edition prop replica certificate of authenticity. Type 1 phaser. Personal phaser, it says. Huh. Cool. I see boxes within boxes. Foam. This is the bottom. Star Trek.com 2021 CBS Trademark Factory Entertainment Inc. Incorporated. It is a nice solid box. Got some rubber feet. Clear plastic top. Insignia. Latch. Ah. That, I believe, is just more foam to pad the top a little bit. It's got a little metal uh, plaque. Smile pretty for the camera. Hello. <laughs> Hope we can read that. It says type one. Quote cricket close quote personal phaser limited edition prop replica edition. Number 10, zero, 010. Zero. Starfleet R&D, San Francisco. <laughs> and the CBS copyright. And the uh, Federation of Planets logo down there in the corner. Very nice. Yeah, that's a hunk of metal. That lives right there. And then we have a little phaser there. Wrapped in plastic. Ooh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Huh. Got a little sticker on the bottom. Wonder if should I take that off and ruin it? Oh no, I don't know. Got some buttons, fire button. We're gonna have to figure out how to access the batteries. Oh, okay. You uh, slide that puppy out. Take the tab out of the batteries. Whilst trying not to take out the batteries. <laughs> yeah, there's a little spring in there ready to Pop all these suckers out on there for you. Carefully put them back in, and this is just a uh, that's just a piece of plastic that's pretty pretty thin. Definitely not battle worthy. It's in the polished metal kind of appearance on the sticker.
slide that back in. And then we hope they work. <laughs> self-destruct one hmm Let's do it again huh. interesting Fresh batteries inside. Plastic tag. Looks to the battery life. Fourteen days at a time. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Replica introduced. Da, 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 da. Die cast in solid metal. Hmm, yep. Other parts in plastic. A wooden case. Da, 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 da. Let's see what they okay, press the beam intensity button and trigger together. Oh, that's crusher mode. Cr crusher mode is from the episode called The Game where he put it on uh, automatic firing. And that doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> hmm. It's possible these batteries were a little weak. I don't know. It doesn't seem to want to do anything. Press the beam intensity and beam with buttons together. The phaser will power off after the overload cycle is completed. Oh, okay. Okay, power on. Press and hold the beam width button until the first green LED in the power lights up. Ah, there we go. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Da -da -da -da. Power off. Hold the beam width button until the green LEDs go out. To conserve power, the phaser will automatically power off if not operated for two minutes. They're selected using the beam with beam intensity with a replica turn. Green LEDs in the power level indicator will change with each button push. All right. So I don't know if you can tell the. Uh, This is all kind of black, and then there's a square, and there's another two little squares there. Go all the way. Wow, it's kind of a wider, brighter beam, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's just got some various effects on there. I guess the beam doesn't change. But uh, yeah, cricket phaser. 
from Entertainment Earth. Collectible case. Very nice. Oh, the kids will be one of them. Order yours today. All right. Let's get a... Did you want to take a closer look at it, actually? Let's see. Let me get this out of the way. All right. Let's get, let's go in for the extreme close up here. Maybe. Kind of, sort of. Okay, there we go. It's a little better. Cool. Let's see. Uh, let me run out and get my uh, my old one, just for the heck of it. compared to my old one <laughs> which is just a hunk of uh, plaster and a uh, little bit of magic marker I got some paint samples from the store the paint store the paint section you get the right color cut them out slap them in there little pieces of paper cardstock some paint some silver paint and uh, some automobile pinstriping. Draw a line around it. So it's a static model. And the clear coat I put on it just kind of turned it yellow. So it's kind of ugly. And yeah. I swear the end of it was a little bit more brighter. It wasn't all this dark black on it. But you know, I've never seen a real one in person, so I'm not quite sure. But, but this is how it looked to me in that episode. They only ever got a close-up of it in that episode of uh, the game that they're referring to. Uh, that does that. Let's try that out, actually. <laughs> cool. All right. Very nice. Very nice. All right, that's it. That is my look at the uh, Type 1 Cricket Phaser Star Trek The Next Generation. Hope you enjoyed that, and I will talk at you later. Yazza 3K out.